I've already heard about kids that look up to me and they know who the tarantula is. And I haven't met a person that was into tarantulas that I didn't befriend, which is pretty cool. I mean, like, weirdos gotta stick together, I guess, right? I started watching Anderson Silva, and like that just sparked my interest in MMA. And then uh, I started like training in my backyard. Like I had a couch. I used a couch as a punching bag, and I would put it up on its side, like learn all kind of crazy kicks. I had a friend that trained martial arts. He was a boxer, and he did Muay Thai. So we sparred one day, and like I did good against him. And I was like, I was like maybe I could do this as a career. And then it's been MMA ever since. He's not a, a part-time or a weekend warrior or a part-time fighter. This is this is his future. This is what he's going to focus on. This is his goals. You know, so he lives the life of a of an athlete. He's not in the games. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't do all the other stuff. So I can I can kind of deal with the little careers. I'm telling you now, I'm not jumping around. <laughs> <laughs> now this one is one of my favorites. Giant white knee. They're from Brazil. Uh, they grow about about 10 inches. Something tarantulas do when they're about to fall is they'll hook like whatever branch or whatever they're on with their fangs to prevent them from having a, a bad fall. So. That's why you have to hold them accordingly, make sure all their limbs are fine because you don't want tarantula fangs in, in your finger. This helps me cope with training a lot. Like, it's downtime. Taking care of anything is, you know, a good way to ease your mind on other things, you know, to know that something depends on you in a certain way. But yeah, like, I love them. I love watching them grow. Jalen's development in jiu-jitsu has skyrocketed since he started coming here. He's fast, uh, he's athletic, but he's very technical. He's always trying to figure out the best way to progress his jiu-jitsu. I, I used to have a big hate for jiu-jitsu. Like, I was like one of the arts I did not like learning. It was hard for me to grasp, and like I feel like I'm a talented guy, and I, 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 I catch on to things like really quickly, and jiu-jitsu was not that for me. Like, I didn't know what was going on. Like, I would be in somebody's guard. Next thing you know, I'm on my back. Next thing you know, I'm in an arm bar. And I'm like, what the fuck just happened? You know, not having that visual of knowing where a body part is or feeling your way out of things, like, it, it messed me up. It was hard for me to, to grasp that. <laughs> Right. Now it's all good. I believe he has that much ability. I think he's got that intelligence and he's got that skill set. Being directed the right way, I think uh, he can be a uh, world champion for sure. I, I think this is a good matchup for him. Um, you know, he has taken this, this fight on a short notice and it's, you know, on the other side of the world. You know, that, that, that's going to be pro probably the most difficult part about it. I've always dreamt of being here. I've always visualized being here. Doing this is just is what I've been working for, you know. And, I just gotta work that much harder. And just visualization alone has, you know, I just manifested this and it's, it's coming through. I belong here, I belong in the UFC. You know, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to stay and I'm here to reign as a champion.